Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our <clears throat> no shot run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single shot or using any explosives or heavy, heavy weapons. Yeah, heavy weapons, of course. We're also not using heavy weapons, only the unhappy ones, uh, the swords and the psionics of that world. Anyways, uh, today we're going to look into Operation Faceless Future. Hacking a workstation shouldn't be too difficult. We certainly don't need the engineer, but I am more concerned about countering the hidden event. Got a lot of interesting opposition here, mainly a sector quad uh, with his own trash. And this here is going to be our team since most, uh, most of our soldiers are more or less uh, tired, shall I say, after the last uh, UFO downing. I've uh, decided to go with two sergeants that we've uh, recently recruited, Mike Public Bravo and Hunk. A, to give rookies or yeah, younger soldiers uh, a bit of a chance to shine, and B, also in order to not create too many more negative traits, we already have quite a few and I want to remove them instead of acquiring more. And we have landed. Time to get the party rolling I would say. In our typical fashion we are concealed but that is a pretty long distance. To Moving up, Scorch takes the point position here. Haven't really found anything. As you order. As a difference to typical behavior, normally I would take the high ground. Or normally I would definitely go for the high ground. This time it sort of doesn't matter all that much. Double time. So Cougar and Hijack, yeah, both of them Getting it done. can move up Double as far as they, uh, as they could. Get Double move for everyone. Normally I don't like standing in the open, but the chance that a patrol will walk into us is rather slim. Hearing that sector pod, seeing already the stomping on the ground. Do we have anyone standing here? No. No one. Onward. Blue move. You know, might as well continue to go even Agreed. further, right? Good, we're moving up. We've got a hostile squad here. Interesting. For the first time we're seeing a couple of hostile movements. Dashing. Solid copy. Rolling out. Alright. Everybody double moves. I think we are pretty solidly ad advanced in terms of our movement. Uh, the pack on the high ground. It's no longer a... Well, it is still a problem, but it's no longer in line of sight. And since we only have five rounds left, might as well start the whole show here with a really big bang. Into full cover, but also blowing our um, blowing our cover entirely. Got eyes on the objective. Nice little hit here. There we go. Good 
Good. Who's going to be our Mimic Beacon? Probably Hijack over here. Can't even fully reach the enemy. I'm going. Can't even fully reach the enemy. Well, that is definitely interesting. How about... We're throwing that beacon a little bit closer. This here hopefully is not triggering more. Nope, it's not. Fantastic. Good. We're double moving up. Just moving mainly into cover of various sorts. Yeah, we're keeping the capacitator discharged for now. Zirkim gets an aid protocol just in case. And a combat protocol to make sure that. Uh, the shield bearer will die because now a single attack uh, from Bladestorm will kill it. Down. My position's been compromised. Good, easy enough. Well, look at that. We're most certainly not going to charge in. Those two might want to move into our direction. All right. It's not the worst idea. That way we can hack next turn and are in a pretty decent position. School, I've never really used the school check in any other challenges as a kind of aggressive tool to move forward and get an auto kill, right? But I gotta admit, um, it's a pretty decent tool in achieving exactly that. Moving up, yeah, we can hack the workstation from here. And this here should be good. Capacitator Discharger also should um, disorient. Yep. I don't really want to charge in. Good copy. Moving on target. Might as well move to here. Advent forces sighted. And might as well change the plan immediately after we trigger the very main pack here. So I think Sirkim will be throwing a Mimic Beacon. Uh, 
that's very unfortunate. Good, moving into full cover. Starting to deal some damage. The problem is one mimic beacon will not hold all of them back. So yeah, we brought ourselves in a bit of a unfortunate situation. The stun lance up there, okay. Still really can't reach anyone. Alright, so... Up here should distract the Sun Lancer and the Heavy Mech. It's a bit wasteful to use two Mimic Beacons, but I want to make sure we're not taking any damage. And one of the Mimic Beacons might as well die with the Sectopod only. Just a lot of damage that this guy is dishing out. Watch the flags! We'll avenge their sacrifice twice over. Alright. I think the mimic beacon portion has worked pretty well. Alright, that was not 100% necessary. I could have done without those two. And now we've triggered the entire map. Fantastic. But we got one more Mimic Beacon. Empty, empty, empty. Which means you are going to be our Mimic Beacon for this round. Bypassing security. What are the heck rewards? Nothing relevant. So we're going to hold back. They both take their numbers. Fantastic. Reinforcements. Just what I was uh, looking for. You know, I was just about to think too easy. Gotta get some more reinforcements in here. But we're taking, whenever you're so severely under pressure, what you may or may not want to do is falling back and just stay, trying to stabilize the situation. What are the odds? 35% not good enough. I was hoping Zukuga with his massive tech score would have a good chance to actually control it. Shutting down uh, would be helpful. Wow, we could have even controlled it. That would have turned the tides of the combat quite a bit. But yeah, it being out, it's also not bad. Good. Let's start with the obvious here. Fire. 
trying to soften these guys up. Okay, very good. Moving in. Mike begins to hit and... Oh wow, he's burning, that means he's even dead. It's not bad. Ignore the sector port for now. We are going to kill this guy. Good, and now Reaper should do the trick. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, that's enough to kill. There we go. Could get a hit in against the sector port. It's probably not a bad idea to be honest. The shield bearer will die anyways. Sector port uh, has a lot of armor and thus needs to be hit pretty hard. Hard target, minimal damage. Good, we're going to parry. And this here should keep them busy for one more round. Of course, reinforcements are arriving. I've got troops here. Well, look at that. We killed a few, I think three. And three of them just reappear. The beauty of reinforcements, eh? Another victim of the invaders campaign. Good. So far, the mimic beacons actually were quite on point. percent sure whom he has taken two four six yeah he is comet protocolable so actually not a big problem let's see we could hack Bullshit rewards. Nothing that we need. Complete um, uh, complete refund of uh, action points, of course, would have been the best choice. the abilities that we can use in order to get out of this mess. Hmm. 
problem uh, still lies with the sector pod. It will run Rampage, at least sort of. So I guess the natural question is, should we use Comet Protocol in order to really hurt it? Or wait with that? Good, let's start with these guys here. We gotta get pretty far away. And one way of getting far away is to actually get all the way back there. Where the sector pod cannot really reach us. Good, fantastic. Punk. What can we do? Could hit him, but can't get fully behind it. Could go to here. And Bladestorm most likely will make sure that the trooper is dead. Could potentially even go one step further. And hit the priest here, which I think is the right play. Alright, burning means no psionic abilities. Okay, Zirkim, how do we deal with that? Move all the way back to here. We got untouchable and replaceable, so we really want to kill something. That's the whole idea. We could kill the Lancer. If we play our cards right. Yeah, Comet Protocol would work on him. Moving fully in, uh, moving into full cover. Setting up the Lancer is the right play. Got to deal, uh, got to clean the uh, field as much as possible, and get as much cover as possible. So Zukuger. Goes into full cover over here. Let's do this. Just spreading out nicely. And let's kill the Spectre. Good, fantastic. Now, next up, Zirkum. Moving out, kill untouchable and placeable. He still has Blade Storm. So let's try to make uh, use of uh, that somehow. I think one way could be to move here into full cover. On my way. That way we are dealing extra damage. Moving over here, close the door. Can't close the door, shite. Okay. A focus strike of power. Well, we're not going to stay in the open, even if we would have had parry. So let's move all the way back to here. 
a fully like from a covered perspective a fully covered position still a pretty dangerous position because the sector board can just start moving into into our position luckily we got untouchable once That is a full, uh, still full cover, so he did, he did not flank us. Late storm did um, not kill it. That's untouchable. Well, that is the untouchable finally. Okay, could have been worse, could have been better. I think overall a fair turn is how I would describe it. Certainly got a deal with that sector port here. Common protocol. Quite a bit of damage to it, almost through its massive defenses. Alright, healing, hacking wouldn't do us any good. That should be a kill. Zirkim potentially will kill this guy. I was about to amplify and then attack, but it's just not enough damage. Uh, just not enough movement for the Templar. So you can potentially take some damage when the thing is going to explode. But on the flip side, we're going to be able to kill it. Not automatically clear if we would. Nah, we can't kill it. It's just one blade storm. Sukuger gives an aid protocol, and we're potentially going to see an explosion in one hit from the shell. We're kind of at that point in uh, the fight where it's bare knuckles. There is not much resources for diver uh, for diversion left. Uh, that was uh, that was the worst thing that could have happened. Unfortunately, uh, the lightning field will. I, I don't know why it is programmed the way it is uh, programmed, but it does not immediately trigger blade storm. Oh wow, we almost had a level there. I'm not sure why Bladestone did not 
trigger upstairs. Holy shit, that was close. Much closer than expected. The alternative would have been um, like for Zirkim to just let him charge in and then use our Templar to also charge in and kill. I'm a bit disappointed that I haven't done that because this here was way too close for comfort. And of course now I also understand why there was no Bladestorm because the other two do not yet have Bladestorm, right? And of course as always the burning damage didn't happen right away. He um, came out of sustenance, burning damage happened whilst he still was in sustenance. Which is a mistake that, or which is a, a, a processing uh, priority mistake that happens from time to time. So yeah, I falsely thought that all of uh, these guys would have Bladestorm, whilst in reality they did not. And that almost costed Sirkim his life. Lucky for us is like 40% dodge chance uh, uh, ticked in and even if it wouldn't he still would have survived the shot unless it would have been a crit but yeah he's still too close for comfort. Well, fantastic. I strike for my people. Good. Finally, we're at full focus. Once the entire map is cleared. What a fun fight overall. If you think about it, we fought Sektopod plus three Advent. Um, plus a heavy mech, plus a lancer, plus an elite specter, plus uh, the uh, codex over here. Once we killed three, three additional um, enemies came uh, came back and just made it a little bit more difficult for us. Good, let's get that heck done. <clears throat> Good, if I'm not mistaken, we still had an enemy pack on the bridge. Moving to position. Might have been wrong. Yeah, but I think they had been there originally. Got it covered. One, two, three. And four. End of turn. Good, Sirkem. That's affirmative. Pulls up in the hopes of putting them out. And there we go. Good, time to charge in. Mm. 
Fantastic. I'll make it quick. Good. We're simply overrunning them at this point. Good, the Elite the Spectre should be the last enemy here. I'm pretty happy that we left out the pack. That would have just costed us some more time. All things considered, we even ended uh, the actual hack three rounds early, which we potentially shouldn't have uh, done. In hindsight, that was a bit of a mistake because once you do end the hack, the reinforcements are coming in. So could have had a normal fight, just let everything um, cool down and do the hack in the last potential minute. Well, closer than I would have expected, but definitely a fun mid. Good. We got one promotion. I hope that the sergeants will stay at sergeant rank for now. That's why we had them originally. The 25 days are pretty much warranted. Uh, pretty much warranted. So that was our issue in letting him just stand in the open. Hello, commander. High alert was the dark event. Uh, fantastic that we have countered it. High alert is a pretty nasty dark event, doubling kind of the. Um, detection range of all of uh, the advent forces so that was a good one let's just Ready heal up for Mexico. I hope that we can finally progress a bit we've been interrupted so many times and all I'm trying to do is just chill and uh, get the psi operatives trained people seem to work well together very good another promotion well question that I'm asking myself is should I just wait three days one day yeah we're waiting one day because uh, next month we're going to get new guerrilla ops missions and there is a chance to counter the chosen's uh, the chosen's activity which will be shooting down the avenger an urgent communication coming in for you now commander i had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership commander and you have outdone yourself our Good. He is now going to launch that assault, and we got to stop him. To at the ship. That is okay. That is not okay. And the dark hidden dark event, no clue what it is. Potentially also not okay. Our understanding of the elder's vision has grown. Good. Can we counter what he is doing? Into breakthrough research, resistance order. Damn it, we can't counter it. That's a very, very nice reward. Unfortunately, we're not using any beam weapons. Uh, so I'm left with the decision, do I want to defend the adventure or not? Akao Noxus, let's give him mobility plus one. Nine days, we're not going to be, we're not going to be attacked in the first nine days. Which is why we put these guys on the mission. A bit of extra mobility is not a bad idea. Better make peace with the gods, Commander. I'm on my way. 
Well, we gotta fight him one way or the other. No negative trait removal. Good. I think that Johnny Bravo was the first one with negative traits. No, I was wrong. Good, we got Void Rift. I like Domination, but it is really not what we're looking for. So we're going with Insanity, just to deal more damage. Wait, 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 Insanity. Ah, uh, doesn't, I think doesn't work against uh, the Chosen. Not that it makes much of a difference. Um, because the other abilities were not good against the Chosen either. It's fine. It's fine. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. That's a pretty decent breakthrough. Adaptive Combat Sims allows us uh, to kind of exchange the PCSs. Avenger Speaking about which, let's see if we can purchase something with our intel. Market is open. No, for whatever reason, hasn't restocked. Setting course for Sector Eight, Mexico. For whatever reason, it has not restocked. Good, we got Soul Fire. Theoretically, we would be ready to base him. Practically, one of our Psy Operative is on a covert out mission for three days. Let's take a look what additional abilities would we have. We got an extra Null Lens and a Void Rift. And we got like what? Null Lens and Soul Fire. I mean, once he goes down, four Null Lenses, pretty damn solid. Uh, to, to destroy the sarcophagus. Pretty damn solid. So that actually should work out well. The problem that I'm seeing is once we kill him, then go for the sarcophagus. We can't immediately kill the sarcophagus, meaning he will come back. And that in return will prompt us to then go through a second fight with him. And I think we're going to kill him faster than uh, the Null Lens and Void Rift cooldowns are ready, which kind of brings us into a difficult spot because we don't want to kill him like three or four times. Also, we gotta wait eight more days until that whole shake and stuff here wears off. Can't put anyone into a mission who is continuously shaken. Good. Richter is no longer shaken, meaning he will be the first one for negative trait removal. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. We'll Good. Deeper learning fast. isn't bad. Together, um, the mobility plus path. one certainly is success. good. Here comes the opportunity for you to assign us new orders, Commander. Good. Let's just continue reducing that avatar progress for now. I don't really see any massive dodge bonus. The health bonus is neat, but in the grand scheme of things, not necessary. Not necessary now. This year would be absolutely fantastic. Specifically with only six days. Like this year is kind of a no-brainer. But we are not using any guns. 
Good. Might as well use the skirmisher here and let's use that grenadier just so that he's not on the mission when when we're being shot down. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Good. In terms of readiness, once Hogbite is ready, I would even make an argument that we could uh, invade the headquarter before we're being shut down, but it's questionable if that happens. Oh, and one thing. For a pretty long time I have not looked into the training here. 24 points. Do we want to avoid conduit? Probably a bit too greedy. Sonar, grenades, not relevant. Lightning reflex is actually pretty damn good. Uh, Sane could get a blast padding, but we're seldomly using him, so I gotta be a bit careful. Quick feet here. Well, all of these great abilities and none of uh, them are use useful for him. That's a fantastic ability, unfortunately it doesn't really do much. He has 18 points. I think we can use that one. Yeah, plenty of great abilities, but none of them really useful for us in this particular run. Yeah, by thinking about it, we might just wait that one more that one more point in order to give Hogbite um, Void Conduit. Void Conduit is good. Pillar isn't bad either. What of those are like exchange can be pretty damn good uh, specifically with blade storm if you change someone into the middle of uh, your waiting uh, rangers then that is that that could um, cause quite a bit of confusion but void conduit is also good and we might want to stick with that what it really shows is that most of the abilities at this point have been nicely acquired. Commander, so there isn't too the much that I'm uh, missing. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. Good, so that's another engineer and intel. Do we really want to do that or are we just accepting that uh, we're losing it and uh, just reacquire it. I think we're going with the lose slash reacquire. We're almost on the brink of getting shut down and I want to make sure that we have our A team ready uh, with that. Plus I want to invade him and I also don't don't want to be interrupted with that. We want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Commander, resistance forces in this region are in hiding as a result of recent right. setbacks. We just uh, reacquire this region. and with that regain mental fortitude, so that's not a problem. Sometimes you gotta pick your battles. 
I'm typically not skipping missions, but it is so minor at this point to get an additional engineer. All right. Ro uh, um, Hogbite is back, and I think we can uh, start doing the actual mission, which is, which brings me to the end of uh, this um, particular episode. Next one, we're going to invade him. I think the crew will be Hogbite, and I wanted to take Sonar with us. I think no one else does have. Uh, capacitate the discharge and restoration so unless we invest a lot of points in another um, specialist probably going to um, disrupt his negative trade recovery so Edgar Allan Poe, Noxus, Donar, Hogbite and we're taking two kind of junior uh, personnel with us but the Nullands and the Void Rift here respectively the Null Lens plus Soulfire over here. They should be helpful in terms of conditioning. I don't see any reason for not giving them some extra hit points. They are, like I said, pretty, pretty much juniors. Might as well help them out. And yeah, that's going to happen the next time. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like uh, down below. And uh, hopefully I see you back when we're finally paying it back to uh, that dumb hunter with his melee immunity. Because then there is nothing that is going to stop us from uh, going all the way. I think that... Uh, we are almost done with uh, with uh, research as well, right? Yeah. So it's just adaptive combat sims and then shadow chamber of the research and essentially the last mission. Okay, cool. That brings us to the end. Uh, take care and see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.